My action research project is on cultural response to teaching for ELLs. Hello, my name is Asari Ivram. I'm a fifth generation teacher. My great great grandparents started the first school in their parish in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. I'm first generation American. My dad is from Nigeria and my mom is from Jamaica. I love to travel outside of the US. I've been to Jamaica, Nigeria, El Salvador, Mexico, and London. Um, within the U.S., I've been to probably over 20 different states. I'm an avid book reader and that's it. Um, professionally about me, I've been teaching early preschool for almost 10 years. I've worked with ages as young as three months up to five years old. I've worked in the private, public, and nonprofit programs. Currently, I'm working in a combination of a nonprofit and a public Head Start um, program and I have been in my current position for the last three years as a lead teacher. Here are a few pictures of where I currently teach. As you can see we are opened on site during COVID. We are considered essential workers. We're one of the few schools open within our district. Um, as you can see one year olds do not understand the concept of social distancing but we do the best we can and we love our kids, so. <laughs> On to the research project. Um, my topic is cultural responsive teaching, also known as CRT, and working with English language learners, ELLs. My two research questions are, does cultural responsive teaching benefit ELL learners? And what barriers need to be addressed to resolve a lack of cultural responsive teaching in the classroom? As um, we will go over later, but first, I will go over what is CRT. What is CRT? Cultural Responsive Teaching is a pedagogy that recognizes the importance of including students' cultural references in all aspects of learning. This is um, a quote I read from Ladson Billing, also known as Gloria Ladson Billing. She is the pioneer that created the CRT pedagogy. Um, another well-known author is Geneva Gay. She has a lot of research and she's an author on her own version of CRT. And then more recently, you will hear works from Zaretta Hammond, whose book on CRT is currently required reading in many teaching education programs and districts. Um, also, the Education Alliance at Brown University stated to be culturally, culturally responsive, you must have positive perspectives on parents and families, communications of high expectations, learning within the context of culture, student-centered instruction, culturally mediated instruction, reshaping the instruction or curriculum, and teachers as facilitators. You can um, find that and more information at the Education Alliance at Brown University. Now we will discuss why it is important to investigate this topic. Um, so first part of understanding why it's important, you need to understand the history of ELLs. Um, before the No Child Left Behind Act and the Common Core Standards, there were minimal to no standards for um, proficiency for ELL learners. So under the No Child Left Behind Act and the Common Core Standards, new federal requirements for English language proficiencies were created. So with after this standard was created, they realized that there was still the achievement gap or newly coined opportunity gap. Steadily had a gap increase amongst black and Hispanic students. And according to the U.S. Department of Education, there were more than 840,000 immigrant children who attended U.S. schools in 2014 and more than 4.6 million English language learners. The implications are clear that there are a large number of immigrant families and children in the U.S. for whom school systems, ew, school systems must prepare and respond. So within the No Child Left Behind Act, the opportunity gap that was being seen, and with the increase of immigrant and ELL learners, you could see that there was a need for a change. So as the standards change and the growing need for ELL strategies has changed, new strategies 
for how we teach in our classes has changed and inspired innovation. So what can CRT do? Culturally sponsored teaching benefits ELLs by giving them an interest, intrinsic motivation to learn. According to Ginsburg, theories of intrinsic motivation recognize and include the influence of culture on learning. As stated by Munez in 2019, according to neuroscience research, this is partly because everyone learns new information best when it is linked to what they already know, their own culture. Why investigate CRT? CRT is a known tool that can benefit regular education and English language learners. According to the State of California Education Department, thus educators in California work to promote the highest levels of self-efficiency and cultural pride in English learners, knowing that this will support students to achieve their best academic outcomes. Even though CRT is a part of the education policy, these strategies are not being mainstreamed into school programs or curriculum. So I believe that investigating CRT will help um, bridge the gap because even though there are, is research, there is not enough research to support CRT in the classroom. And I feel like more research on the topic will help to mainstream this type of program into the classrooms. I also to figure out why teachers are not currently using CRT even though it is a part of the education policy. Now, based on the research questions, does culturally responsive teaching benefit ELL learners and what barriers need to be addressed to resolve the lack of culturally responsive teaching in the classroom? Um, we will go over the research questions and how they align with the data collection approach and how I plan to find the answers for the research questions. Um, teachers will review an online survey via district email online with a closed-ended questionnaire that will determine if they are a variable A or variable B, using CRT strategies or not. Then they will fill out a second survey, an open-ended questionnaire to determine their attitudes towards using CRT strategies in the classroom. We will come back to these questionnaires once we retrieve the test scores. Based on the results of the questionnaire, one, we will conduct a correlational, cor correlational analysis that will determine whether CRT strategies used were a factor in their outpack scores in the classroom. And then we also will do a correlation with the open-ended questions to determine whether the teacher's attitudes towards teaching CRT correlate with their test scores as well.